Hi there and welcome back to Stellaris the Cthulhu Myths, where the Republic battles against two mighty attackers, the Hierarchy of Hyboria and the G.I. Jothan Union. And this war is going well and we're starting to invade on some of the, the planets. We have already invaded all of the planets of the G.I. Jothan Union and now, now we are going to continue doing this. When we invade the hierarchy of Hyboria space, and we have just integrated the Jogolva sovereignty into our planetary system, which means this is under our control. The Jogolva here, We're going to give them over to sector control, of course. And we're going to need uh, new colony ships in time. Now let's manage the Bacteria power sector. And give them that Earthius system to avoid the penalty on directly controlled systems. There we go. also have more influence now and we can finally save up for a science ship under attack for a governor oh a science ship of us is under attack why where by a battleship where is that and why is a science ship here what the hell oh uh yeah that's of the jogolwa right <laughs> all right all right yeah, well, I guess you can do that. Now we'll see more. We'll see more. More is coming. War is coming. Whatever is coming. Let's reunite our forces here. Uh, on another whim, I think I want to destroy that because it will only make us slower. And we have the Arkham... The Republican Freedom Force here. This is just bombarding this planet on Inim. And we should really stop that. And we should start going for some of the more Hyborian systems here. Maybe let's start to go over here to the Vum system. That also sounds nice. Very good. We have reunited our fleets on uh, Ea Domina, the Republican Peace Hunters. And we're going to send these over, I think, to the Ishno system. Where we'll also send uh, this force. Uh, or not yet, no. No, we don't, we won't. Please, please stay there. You're too small to be on your own. Need to unite with these others. Uh, we'll send these two over to Earthius. Then send them over to Ishno as well. And then we need to... Um, go for more yeah these are our occupied planets with Costa Mog here yeah we've got some legions here Costa Mog I think it's somewhere out of this space let's embark them all Costa Mog and fly them over to to the sun system for now. Go on, go over there. Um. Yeah, and you go over there. Right. And we have V or Rum here. Yeah. 
And Onota. Yeah, we have some attackers here as well. Should be them. Let's unite at the Sun System. Transport fleets are going well there. Meredith Bay also has some attackers. It should go to the Sun System. The first Gene Warriors are in action. The nation of Na is doing well, with our help, of course. Construction complete. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah. We have now finally um, built our cruisers, our first cruisers. So, uh, yeah. It's that strike force. Let's send them over to Earth, yes. Where all our forces unite at the moment. Hyborian Xenos United, yes. Because of the Xen uh, Snakeoids, which we cannot um, uplift, we have some problems here. Oh, the Opal Glack made peace with the Rethelians. Research see. complete. Oh, look at that. The Rethelians won. They took all of that here. Very nice. Like the Rethelians much more. We have completed the research of standardized cruiser patterns. Cruiser assembly yards, establishing new standards for the modeling and construction of cruisers, greatly improves the efficiency of the production pipeline. Very nice, very nice indeed. What will we go for next? Something fundamental? Marauder missiles? Maybe a good idea? Not really. We're going for the Ripper autocannon as the most fundamental thing that we have here. As Creel is not specialized in anything. <laughs> it's just like that. And this is going to be our role play. As well. So. I think we should be able to send a science ship over somewhere. We, but we don't have a scientist. Who would be able to research something. Because we don't have the influence because we oh yeah we, we should maybe sh maybe we should start integrating another subject but I think we cannot do that at the moment let's look at our subjects we have the democratic Chaskaran and we have them now I think we can integrate them now and one of the Chaskarans could integrate them mm, that will be costly and these we can only release the Galactic Republic we can integrate yeah that's cheaper let's do that let's just hope we get influence from somewhere right <laughs> ships upgraded if ships upgrade what all right And we need new colony ships too. Wow. Um, we need an arid colony ship and a tropical. Tropical, we want the work suck. Arid, we want. Whom do we want? Bacterians would be a possibility of war miss. And I think we're going for the newly reformed Bacterians. Let's build a colony ship. They are close to our line. Individualist, xenophile, materialist. These are the Bactorians we want. Bactorians and Worksack. Where are the Worksack we want? Let's look in here. The shrub planet. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll need a little bit more. There we go. So we need an 
xenophiles, xenophile, individualist, xenophobe materialist. Nah, not you. Don't need xenophobes. We don't. We want xenophiles, individualist, fanatic, xenophobe, individualist, fanatic, materialist. Yeah, let's go for them. It's okay. And so next, next thing is we should have our forces uniting there. Yeah, there they come. Oh, and the Republican Peace Hunters are going directly over there to Ishno. That's a good idea, probably. And where's our transport fleet? The transport fleets are uniting here. Hostile fleet we should engaged. send them over to Ishno at once. Unite. Hostile fleet engaged. Third stellar fleet. Oh! Look what we found here. Who are you? Trade aggressive. That won't help you much against good Yedic. Research complete. Situation log update. So experienced. That was a very quick combat here. Complete the research of atmospheric filtering, habitability plus 5%. By adjusting atmospheric filtering per site basis to better filter out undesirable elements, colonial living conditions may be improved. Very good, very interesting. What should we go for next? We're always going for the most basic thing we can. And this means we're going for Pitharan dust refining at the moment. Because we have no specialty to go for. So this is it. In 16 months we'll have that. Fourth stellar fleet up against... Um, oh. Situation log updated. Yeah, this is going to be good. The womb system was just the right choice to make, I feel. These are also going to the womb system and... Hostile fleet engaged. Oh no, they are going for the Republican Peace Hunters. Oh, they are going all the way to Ishnor. Yeah, that's fine as well. Let's unite our strike forces here. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Republican Freedom Force is uh, demolishing the WOM system. And we're in the green, which means we're doing definitely well. <laughs> Look at that. Now, now we are now we're talking. Maybe we can get rid of the GI Yothams. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Now we are talking. Ah, but it's really Situation getting log a little updated. bit tight in minerals and stuff. Galactic power surge. Instruments across the Republic have suddenly picked up a subspace power surge of massive proportions. Coming from somewhere within our galaxy, our scientists are struggling to come up with an explanation for this event. Nothing of its like has ever been recorded. The exact origin point of this sudden power surge has yet to be identified, but we still... In the process, we are still in the process of analyzing the available data. Keep at it. Wow. What is coming there from the center of our universe? We don't know. Is there a black hole coming? Some kind of abominable alien fleet that will destroy us all? We don't know. Let's find out in the next episode of Stellaris the Cthulhu myth, where we may meet Cthulhu himself. Stay tuned and happy gaming.